what's up everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new here thank you for tuning in my name is brendan jamar make sure you like comment subscribe share with your friends get your boy numbers up because i ain't been posting so if i ain't been posting i ain't got no new subscribers and if i don't get no new subscribers that means i can't post nothing that nobody wants to see but anyway let's get right into it um Today, I just want to, you know, just talk to y'all about where I've been, why I haven't been uploading any videos and stuff like that. So, with that being said, let's get right on into this video. All right, so I'm going to just be honest. Six hours later. I've been lazy. I've been lazy. That's exactly why I haven't been posting anything. I've been really lazy. And, you know, I really feel bad about it because I've had four videos that I was supposed to upload since my Tinder date from hell. And I just honestly, I just I didn't like them. I didn't like the videos that I recorded. You know, everything, the editing was there, you know, the, the sound effects, all of that. It was all there. I just didn't like how they look. So I was like, if I don't like how something look, I'm just not going to post it. But I should have posted it anyway, because a lot of people have been asking, when am I going to post another video today? I'm posting another video today as we speak. I'm going to make sure I edit this video and have it done and post it by 10 o'clock. Right now it is 5, 12 p.m. So, you know, don't worry, you're gonna see this video. So I was actually supposed to record a vlog when I went to Texas in December, but that never happened because the trip never happened. <laughs> so me and my friend, we were in a car accident and that really just like killed the whole trip it was a real bad car accident i'm gonna put the pictures of the car down here while i'm talking so y'all can see how it looked i don't know if i'm gonna be able to do that i think i should be able to but like i was saying we were in a really bad car accident and if y'all look at the picture of that car that i put in this video y'all gonna be like i don't know how y'all walked away from that i'll tell you how i walked away from that god is how i walked away from that like i had to get airlifted to lsu shreveport and she was in the ambulance but you know, I'm just glad that we were really okay. We were able to walk away from it. But, man, when I tell y'all I've been going to a chiropractor because, you know, my back, my neck, all of that, it's just been killing me. Like, when I tell y'all, it's been killing me. Like, I have days to where it's just like I have to take an ibuprofen. If I don't take one, it's just like my back is going to continuously hurt. One day I had to go home and I had to just lay down because my head and my back was hurting so bad. And when I went to the chiropractor the next day, he was just like, oh, you have a lot of tension and knots back there. What have you been doing? I said, I wasn't doing nothing. My back just been hurting. So, you know, I go to the chiropractor and stuff three times a week and I'm gonna be going for, I think, 15 weeks. Yeah, he said 15 weeks, but I don't know how many weeks I have left. I ain't really been asking, I just been going. School just picked up. Um, school started January 13th. I have this semester and in the fall, I'll finally be getting ready to graduate. I'm gonna just be honest, I'm sick of this shit. This school shit is ghetto. I don't like it. I got to go to grad school because I can't, I can't do anything with just a psychology degree. So I have to make something of myself in order to get paid. And if I don't get paid, then I shit out of luck. Yeah, school started and all. Um, I take two classes in person and I take that Monday and Wednesday and then I take another class Tuesday and Thursday and I got Fridays to myself. But the rest of my classes that I take, they're all online. So, I mean, online class is not really bad. You really just have to keep up with what you're doing. I suggest you get a planner. That's how I keep myself together and in sync because it's like a lot of work we do, like a lot of work. And I don't like that, like. <laughs> But I try to make sure I do all my work ahead of time before they're, they're due. I put in my planner the day that assignments are due. So I work by that way so I can keep myself together and stuff like that. Okay, so I was going to start recording videos, like I said, when school started. But it's really just been, it's just been raining. And it's just been so depressing. Like, it rained every day. And I didn't want to record a video. And it was just gloomy. I, I just didn't like that. And then... I had to get another umbrella because the umbrella that I had broke and then the umbrella that I bought, it broke, but I fixed it. So I don't really have any problems now, but it's just the fact that it's raining. Like, what am I going to talk about? I'm going to class today, y'all, and it's raining. What else am I going to do? 
I'm going in the library today. It's still raining. There's nobody in here, so I can't really communicate and put anybody on my vlog. So here I am now standing here telling y'all ha, 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 about what I've been up to. Let me tell y'all about how I got fired on my days off. To you yesterday. What? That was stupid. How the hell are you gonna get fired on your day off? So, y'all know I've been working for Coles. Well, y'all don't know because I didn't post that video. I had made a vlog on my first day at work. I didn't even, I didn't even post it. I didn't even edit it. It's still in my phone now. I don't care about that anymore. I'm glow. <laughs> I'm so glad that I didn't make that video and do anything with it because fuck them, fuck Coles. Like, so let me just give y'all the backstory about this. I was a seasonal worker for Coles. Mind you not, I understand seasonal workers are there for a short period of time. Now, this is what pissed me off. Okay, the first thing that pissed me off was they said we were gonna get 15 to 25 hours every week. Never saw that. You wanna know how many hours I would work? The first week of me working, I worked three days. I worked Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. That wasn't so bad, okay? That was cool. The next week, I was not on the schedule. The week after, I wasn't on the schedule. The week after that, I was on the schedule for one day. I, you know, I was kind of pissed off about that. So what I said was, let me ask them, can they train me in different areas? Because if I'm getting trained in different areas, I can pick up shifts. So if I can pick up shifts, I can pick up that money. And if I'm picking up that money, I'm buying what I want to buy. Duh. They was like, oh, well, no, you know, Black Friday is coming up. So we don't really want to, you know, train too many people in too many areas that's not supposed to be there. So just stay where you are now. And then after, you know, we can try to talk about doing that. That really pissed me off, too, because people steady posting their shifts. Like, you can train me on the register at night. Don't nobody come in codes like that at night. So it's just like, to me, the fuck? <sighs> Another thing that used to piss me off. Okay, for Black Friday, I worked from that Black Friday. I worked 3.45 to 12 in the morning. I tried to pick up a 2, 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. shift. Didn't get that. Okay, the next day I worked. The next day after that I worked. Cool. After that, I was not on the schedule for at least another three weeks. So in my mind, I'm just like, bro. Yeah, fuck all that. What's up? So I don't understand because I keep telling them I want to work. I want to pick up shifts. I want to do things. They didn't care. So it's like to me, well, damn, fuck me then. Because it's like how I'm supposed to make money. We get paid every week. I was missing checks like that. I mean... Even if I would have worked like three to four days, that would have been a nice, healthy check. Three to four days. That's that's all I ever asked for. <laughs> so when they put me on the schedule again, this was my last week working. This is what I did not know. I worked a Friday and I worked a Saturday. Friday, I worked 12 to 5. And then Saturday, I worked from 9.30 to 5. When I tell y'all I was so fucking miserable... I had a timer on my phone just so I could know how many hours I had left at work. Like, I just felt like I just felt like I was just there. And when you work on the floor, it's just like you constantly folding the same shit back up. You got to go pick clothes up here. You, you see clothes out of place and you got to go put them over there. I I'm not going to say I had a problem with that. I did have a problem with that because I'm steady Xing to be trained in different areas because I'm sitting up here folding up these these and one shirts and all this Under Armour and these people keep messing it up. Like, why would you keep coming over here messing my stuff up? OK, I did not know that Saturday would have been my last day working. Now, mind you not, I told them I opened up my availability. I was like, I can work anytime. School is out. I was supposed to be going to a conference. Ju December 31st to January 2nd but apparently that was wrong and it's another time so I told them okay I can still be on the schedule like I'm not I'm not going on a trip anymore so I can work so they were like okay you know that's fine I had not been on the shift didn't get nothing I'm sitting up there like bro what is this so one day I'm sitting in the room you know I'm chopping it up with my roommates you know we're just laughing talking drinking wine I'm trying to put my stuff in to the to the little Coronos app or whatever the hell this shit called. 
And it was like, username and password not found. So I tried to do it again. Username and password not found. Why did I call? Not call, I'm sorry. I text my friend. And she was like, oh, yeah, well, if you can't log in, that means you've been terminated and fired. I was like, hold on, you wait a minute, you tell me what? Get your shit! Get your shit! And get out! I have been fired. Mind you not, didn't nobody call me, didn't nobody text me, didn't nobody say, okay, well, this is going to be your last seasonal day, seasonal ends here. From what I was told, when you're seasonal, you will stay seasonal all the way up until about the summertime. You will get put on a shift here and there. I was fired. I was terminated. And from what I was told, I was supposed to be one of the seasonal workers that got killed because they liked my attitude and liked how great of a worker I was. Like, who the fuck wouldn't want to keep me? But... Yeah, I got fired. So I really felt like <laughs> this is for Rachel, you big, fat, white, nasty, smelling, fat bitch. Why the fuck you took me off the motherfucking schedule? Like, I really felt like that. So I was really about to go up there and I was about to cause a scene. Cold was closed at 10. So it was like 930 when I seen it. So I really wouldn't have had time to go up there and do what I wanted to do. So I called my daddy and my daddy was like, don't go up there. Just just leave it alone. Just don't go up there. So I said, okay, I'm not gonna go up there. And one day, this was Tuesday, me and my roommate, we went to Coles. And so I had it in my mind. I said, I hope the managers that I do not like are here because I am going to go the fuck off. Well, the manager that I liked was there. So I was like, so y'all took me off the schedule, huh? And then, you know, then nobody called, then nobody text me, then nobody say, you know, this will be your last day working. I thought I was supposed to be one of the ones that got killed. She basically said, well, everybody got fired because they were over budget and hired too many people. You knew you weren't supposed to hire that many people. So why would you hire that many people? That makes no sense. So then she was just telling me, you know, if I wanted to, I could come in March and apply and start back. I don't want to do that shit. Why would I want to apply again? And get treated the same way. And to be honest with y'all, I'm going to just be honest. I didn't give a fuck about codes, no way. I just wanted my check. And if y'all watching this, I don't give a fuck. You ain't never got to worry about me coming back. Ever. Ever. And if it was up to me, I ain't even going to do that. I ain't even going to do that. But you know, like I was saying, I really did not appreciate... I really didn't appreciate that. Like, that was very unprofessional of them to just not even just be like, okay, well, thank you for working with us. And, you know, I hope, you know, you have a great new year. You know, if you would like to come back, put in, you know, for a part time position. They didn't say none of that. Like, they just let me go. They just let me go. Here anymore. I'm on to bigger and better things. I'm looking for a new job, actually. So I'm just trying to get somewhere. As of right now, it's not really working out for me. I got a work study, but I can't go over budget. It's a hard knock life. All in all, thank y'all for tuning in. Thank you for watching this video. I know y'all have been waiting a long time for me to post so y'all can see something. I know y'all like to laugh because I say some very outlandish shit. But I just want to say thank you for all your support. Thank you for adding me on Snapchat, Twitter, all of that. You know, just keeping in contact with me, you know, asking me when I'm posting, giving me ideas and stuff to post. So I'm going to be honest with you. Listen to me and listen to me clearly. I will not be posting videos every week. That was a lie. I'm going to post videos every month. What I'm going to try to do, my friend gave me an idea. She said record three videos all in the same day and post them weekly. So that may be what I do, but videos, it's going to take some time for me to get used to this. Like, I really don't have a packed schedule to me not being able to do nothing, but y'all get the gist of what I'm saying. So, all right, I'm done. <laughs>